Hello students, in this video we will solve a specimen paper 3, it's Cambridge IGCSC, paper code 062503. Question number 1. Model trains move along a track passing through two model stations A and B. The students analyze the motion of a model train. They start a digital timer as the train starts to move. They record the time it enters station A and the time it enters station B. So this is a time, time entering station A and time entering station B. Calculate the time taken from the train entering station A to the train entering station B. State your answer in seconds. Here the time taken is a subtraction of these two times. Here the subtraction has been shown. You can pause the video and see how we have subtracted. So time, so time taken is 72 seconds and uh, we have to convert our answer in seconds. So final answer is 72 seconds. A faster train takes 54 seconds to travel from station A to station B. The distance between the station is 120 meter. Calculate the average speed of this train. So average speed is total distance divided by time taken time taken in covering that distance so the distance is 120 meter and time taken is 54 seconds so average speed is 2.22 meter per second this figure shows the speed time graph for another model train traveling on a different part of the track use the graph to determine the total distance traveled by this train and the area covered under this graph gives you an idea of the distance traveled by the train so the area covered under this graph you can measure this is a triangular shape here this is another triangular shape here and the middle part represent a rectangle so you can calculate the separate areas and then you can add to find the total distance or either you can use the formula of calculating the area of trapezium and the area of trapezium is 1 by 2 multiplication of these two length this is 6 and the length is 14 multiplied by the perpendicular distance between two lengths. So it is 35 meter square. Well, you can pause the video and please check all the calculation. A piece of metal has an irregular shape. The weight of the metal is 3 Newton. Calculate the mass of the metal. We know that weight is equal to mass multiplied by g and m is equal to weight w by g 9.8 meter per second is square. So mass is 0.31 kilogram. In this figure, uh, this shows uh, the piece of metal, a measuring cylinder and a beaker containing water. Describe how to uh, determine the value of the piece of metal using the equipment in figure 2.1. So we have uploaded a video where we have discussed detail how to find the volume of irregular shape using the displacement method. Explain why the procedure in part 1 is not suitable for finding the volume of a piece of low density wood that is similar shape and size to the piece of metal because low density wood will float on the water. The displaced water in that case if the object floats will not be equal to the total volume of the object. So since the wood floats we cannot find its volume using the displacement method of the water. The mass of another piece of metal is 405 gram and its, and its volume is 150 centimeter cube. Calculate the density of this piece of metal. Density is equal to mass per unit volume. Mass is given in gram and volume in centimeter cube. Whole unit is given in CGS system. No need to convert any unit and density will be 2.7 gram per centimeter cube. A man uses a metal bar to remove an iron nail from a piece of wood as shown in this figure. This is a nail. This is a pivot. This is wood and the man applies a force of 150 Newton perpendicular to the bar. The force is applied. This is perpendicular force and at a distance 0 0.50 from the pivot. Calculate the movement of this force about the pivot. Give the unit. We know that movement is equal to force multiplied by the distance or 
द फोर्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द पाइवोट सो द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस फोर्स फ्रॉम द पाइवोट इज पॉइंट फाइव जीरो एंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दिस फोर्स इज वन फिफ्टी न्यूटन यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई द मूवमेंट इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फाइव न्यूटन मीटर दट यूनिट विल बी न्यूटन मीटर फोर्स इज इन न्यूटन डिस्टेंस इज इन मीटर The force applied by the man produces a turning effect about the pivot. Yes. Describe another example of using the turning effect of a force. So the opening and closing of a door along a fixed hinge and a seesaw. These are the other examples of the turning effect of the force. The man tries to use the metal bar to remove another nail from the piece of wood. He applies the same force of 150 newton at a distance of 0.50 from the pivot. The turning effect produced is not enough to remove this nail from the piece of wood. Describe how the man can increase the turning effect without increasing the force. So we know that in order to calculate the movement, we need two physical quantities, force and distance. So if you want to keep the force constant, you have to increase the distance. The distance, the perpendicular distance. From the pivot, you have to increase in order to increase the turning effect of that force. So the answer will be increase the distance of force from the pivot. These two figures shows two method of using renewable sources to generate electrical power. Name the energy source used by each method. So in this figure, the energy source is sun. These are the solar panels, and in this figure, the energy source is wind. So very easy one. state two advantages of using the renewable source in either in figure 4.1 or in the second part 4.2 for generating electrical power compared to using a coal fired power station so less global warming as the use of renewable sources produces no greenhouse gas emissions and second advantage is it reduces energy dependence on fossil fuels state one disadvantage of using the renewable source in either figure uh, part 1 or figure part 2 for generating electrical power compared to using the coal fired power station so supply of energy is intermittent the fossil fuels the fossil fuels are available on demand while the renewable energy sources depend on the weather and other factors This figure shows a glass bottle containing air. The bottle is sealed with a cap. The mass of the air in the bottle is constant. The temperature of the air in the bottle increases. State what happens to the pressure of the air in the bottle. So the pressure will increase. Explain why the pressure of the air in the bottle changes. The gas temperature is directly proportional to the molecule's average kinetic energy. This means that the molecule have more collisions with each other and the side of the bottle. As you increase the temperature, the average kinetic energy of the gas molecule will also increase and there will be more collisions with each other and with the side of the bottle. So as the force on the walls of the bottle increases due to continuous striking, so the pressure is also increased. The bottle has a weight of 5.4 newton and an area of 9.2 cm is square in contact with the table. Calculate the pressure produced by the bottle on the table. So pressure we know it's force per unit area. The calculation is given here. Pause the video, check all the calculation. The answer is 0.58 newton per cm is square. A student constructs a device for absorbing thermal energy from the sun. This figure shows the device. The student places a white plastic pipe in sunlight. This is a pipe. The cold water flows from tank A to tank B. Energy from the sun heats the water in the pipe. This figure shows the temperature. These are the temperatures in tank A and tank B. Determine the rise in temperature of the water as it passes tank A and tank B. So temperature rise is equal to definitely the difference in the temperature between these two readings. So it is equal to three degrees centigrade. The student wants to increase the thermal energy absorbed by the water in the pipe. Is there three improvement she can make to increase the thermal energy absorbed? 
so first is use metal pipe because metal absorbs heat quickly and holds it for a long period of time second a change what a student can make paint black or use black pipe because black absorbs all wavelengths of light and reflect little to none it converts more heat third place reflector behind pipe as if you put a reflector behind pipe it will reflect all the sunlight toward the pipe so it will help to increase the thermal energy absorbed by the water in the pipe describe the process that transfer the thermal energy from the sun to the water inside the pipe so one of the process is conduction conduction through pipe and the other one is the radiation radiation is the transfer of heat energy through space well uh, we will end this video here and for more question we will upload next video very soon thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe thank you very much once again